Today marks the annual day of remembrance at the Kennedy Space Center. News 6's Kirsten O'Connor has a look at the ceremony. Every year we honor those astronauts who lost their lives, but today the ceremony takes on a new meaning as we mark the 50th anniversary of the Apollo 1 tragedy. People laid wreaths and flowers at the Space Bureau Memorial, paying respect to the fallen heroes. The deadly 1967 fire started during a launch pad test, killing astronauts Gus Grissom, Edward White, and Roger Chaffee. The ceremony also remembered crews of the Challenger and Columbia missions, Apollo team members, former astronauts, and family members spoke about how the tragedy affected the future of the space program. The technicians. I could not believe that it has been 50 years since I lost my father along with his Apollo 1 crewmates, Gus and Ed. Although on that January day they lost their lives right across the river at Complex 34 on Cape Canaveral Air Force Station, their story certainly did not end there and their legacy lives on today. Yes, Apollo 1 uh did cause three deaths, but I believe it saved more than three later. Tomorrow, a new exhibit at Kennedy Space Center is set to open featuring the hatch from that capsule. It will be on display for the first time since the tragedy. Kirsten O'Connor, News 6.